All right, so we're gonna start easy with number 10. Now, the first time you saw this one, you probably really wanted it. Then you saw the price tag and you're like, ah, never gonna get that. Now, here's the reason why you probably do own it now, but you really probably shouldn't own it. And if you did get it, because maybe you did something you shouldn't have done, but you did it anyway, because you thought, hell, I'm gonna do it anyway, and we're just gonna walk out of here with it. And I'm talking about this. Yeah, I'm talking about this thing. So I mean, where do you put this? This is probably why you don't own this, because your wife's like, I can't have that in the house. I don't know what to do with it. And if you take it out of the box, oh my God, you're not gonna throw away the box, because you paid <gasps> maybe $12.50 for this at Toys R Us. Maybe, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But again, look, where do you put this? There are TVs that aren't even this big anymore. What, or this thick? Why, why would you possibly ever own this, let alone take it out of the box? I haven't taken it out of the box yet. I have two of these. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. You probably don't own this, and it's good that you don't. Captain Phasma Toys R Us Canadian Exclusive. Yes, that's right. If you thought what is this figure? It appeared on the internet just a couple weeks ago, and you weren't really sure if it was a crazy custom that someone else had done, but really, Toys R Us in Canada got the exclusive. Now this figure is one of those weird things that you're probably not going to own because the Disney store is going to cover the exclusive version of it for here in the States. However, if you're obsessed like we are here, you're gonna want both versions, one with the Precious Toys R Us sticker and one without. Okay, so these two, we're kind of putting them together because really they were hand in hand in Rogue One, a Star Wars story. That's right, Chirrut and Baze. More than likely, you wanted these figures, but you never got them. Why? Because, well, Rogue One really didn't do all that well for toys. I mean, especially when half your characters die. Sorry, spoiler, that was it right there. But if you really wanted Chirrut and Baze, you weren't going to find them. And the reason why you probably don't own them because you can't justify it to yourself. Spending $60 on a figure you're supposed to pay $20 for and never had the chance to buy anyway. But Truth and Bays are still highly sought after figures, but there's a good chance that you're never going to own them. The Luke Skywalker X-Wing Pilot 40th Anniversary Black Series figure. Yes. You know why you probably don't own this figure? Because you bought it when it originally came out, when they launched the Black Series figure. So naturally, in your mind, you already have this figure, but yet you want him on the 40th anniversary package. Well, the issue was they did a special version of him that they only put at Star Wars Celebration Orlando, and they sort of released at Comic-Con. So you're probably not going to own him because he's so expensive, but you already have the figure. And Catch-22, Hasbro is re-releasing the figure at the beginning of 2019 in the now archive collection. So, Anakin Skywalker gets a Black Series figure, but it's not the Darth Vader one. No, it's Hayden Christensen as a Black Series figure. So do you really want mullet Anakin? Of course not. You didn't buy this figure. You got anybody else in the line. Now you're a completionist. Now you're going back and you're buying everybody and now you've gotten to Hayden Christensen, Anakin Skywalker. Oh, guess what? He's anywhere from 80 to $100. You're not gonna buy this figure. You want this figure just because you're crazy and you're a completionist. But are you really gonna buy the figure? I know we said top 10, but we gotta put these two guys together. So, back when you were buying all of your Black Series figures, you saw Bosk. You really wanted the Bounty Hunter from Empire Strikes Back. And you're like, I gotta get this figure. I gotta get this figure. You didn't get this figure because everybody bought this figure. Then all of a sudden, he's gone. Then you see IG-88. He's sitting there at Walgreens and you're thinking, eh, I never got Bosk. Why would I buy IG-88? If I can't have all the Bounty Hunters, they haven't made all the Bounty Hunters yet. Now they're making all the Bounty Hunters. Oh, now I need IG-88. But you don't own either one of these figures. You're not going to own either one of these figures until 2019. So are you crazy enough to go back and buy the original boxes? Or are you going to buy the archive collection? You're going to buy the archive collection. So you probably don't own these figures. You probably will own these figures. But at this point here in 2018, you don't own these figures. The Hascon Captain Rex. Clone Wars Black Series exclusive. You wanted this figure. You know why you wanted this figure? Because they were finally making a Black Series figure of your favorite Clone Wars characters. Don't say that it's Ahsoka, because it's not. It's really Captain Rex. 
and you wanted this figure, you saw this figure, and then you saw the price tag for a ticket just to go to Hascon, and you're like, yeah, I'm not gonna get that figure. And then you felt better because they announced it as a regular release. So sure, you don't get the cool box. That's why you're not gonna own this figure. You're not gonna own the Hascon one. You're gonna own the regular one with the better face skull. This one is a particular favorite, and it falls into some of the others on this list. It's the Grand Admiral Thrawn Celebration Orlando exclusive. He comes with helmets, he comes with artwork, he comes with little creatures that negate Jedi powers whose name I can't even really remember right now, but I just wrote here at the bottom of the screen. Yes, and he comes in this awesome display box. You don't own this figure because you can't justify yourself $75 or more at a toy show to get the figure that if you could you just went to Orlando to buy, you would have probably for $65, $50 or something of that nature. But instead, you went out on Force Friday 2, which is really like Force Friday 4, and you went out and bought the regular figure. That's why you'll never own that figure because you can't justify it to yourself. And now we come to one of the largest points of deliberation in the Black Series line. On your right, you have Jabba the Hutt, Comic-Con exclusive, who comes with Salacious Crumb, and a full throne room that you can display Jabba in every way that you want. He even comes with his little hookah pipe. And on our left, we have the Jabba the Hutt that you could buy at Target, overpriced, with just Jabba. No throne, no salacious crumb, no nothing. So this is as if you're comparing the end of Return of the Jedi with the regular edition on your left or the special edition on your right. Which one do you think you're going to choose? And again, it's something that we cannot have because we're stuck with the one on our right. All right, unless you live in Europe or you're completely insane, you probably don't own the Boba Fett Han Solo and Carbonite 2-pack. This was a Star Wars Celebration Europe 2 exclusive. This figure, which comes with an extra gun for Boba Fett, I don't know why that's some sort of incentive, but you actually get Han in the Carbonite. This is a figure that you're never going to have. That you, if you do have, you're insane, like me, probably. You probably have it, yes, I'm thinking you do. But if not, it comes in a cool box. It's hard to find. Nobody wants to part with this. People have extra Boba Fetts just for this reason. All right, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this was Action Figure Junkies, the top 10 Black Series figures you don't own, and for good reason. So, as you can see, we've got some new figures coming up. We're definitely going to be reviewing the exclusive uh, Canadian Toys R Us uh, Stormtrooper and probably the Captain Phasma if I have the heart to actually open her. Um, if you like our uh, Constable Zuvio Cool Guy Zuvio shirt, um, we sell these on our website. Uh, I believe they're about 25 bucks. And uh, support the Cool Guy Zuvio movement. We have several videos of which, ding, there'll be some right there, where you can actually learn more about Constable Zuvio and his further adventures.